In this video, I'll present motivations and applications of the multiplicative weights update algorithm. Implementations and theoretical guarantees will be provided in future videos. In an excellent survey by Aurora, Hazen, and Kale, published in the theory of computing in 2012, the authors advocate for teaching the multiplicative weights update algorithm as part of standard algorithmic courses, just like divide and conquer, whatever. And I would say that they have done quite an excellent job at convincing me, at least. Uh, the reason for this is that this basic algorithm has been the core idea of a huge variety of papers in different areas of machine learning, optimization, and game theory, and elsewhere. And by the way, did I say basic algorithm? I should really stress this more. The multiplicative weight subject algorithm is unusually basic and simple. At its core, it only requires additions and multiplications. Yet, it has become state-of-the-art to tackle many different problems, and remarkable theoretical guarantees have been proved in many applications, especially nowadays as online applications have been given more and more importance. Now, in this video, I want to convey the key principles of the algorithm and give a non-exhaustive list of applications. Here's the basic setting. Let's say we have a combination of moves to make with unknown random rewards or costs associated to the moves. Basically, the multiplicative weights update algorithm will tell us how to weigh adequately the different options through weights given to the different moves. Crucially, the weights will then get cumulatively multiply depending on past reveal rewards or costs. So for instance, a move can be following an advice from one of many experts. This setting occurs particularly often in machine learning, especially when a technical bagging or assembling is used. Indeed, it turns out that quite often in practice, while no individual machine learning algorithm performs extremely well all the time, an aggregation of different machine learning algorithms does. However, how exactly the different machine learning algorithms should be combined is unclear. Well, one way to do so is to apply the multiplicative weights update algorithm to update weights given to the different machine learning algorithms depending on how the machine learning algorithms lastly performed. And crucially, this update is done multiplicatively. This idea was used in the famous AdaBoost algorithm that yielded great results, even though it was only based on so-called weak classifiers, that is, classifiers that do not really give clear-cut positive results. Another application is the computation of minimax strategies in two-player zero-sum game theory. Here, the problem is to determine the two players' optimal strategies. Each player has a finite set of action, like say rock, paper, or scissors, and needs to weigh the different options it has. Multiplicative weights update yields a way to do so by penalizing, in a cumulative multiplicative manner, actions that gave losses. For those who know game theory well, it might be of little surprise that the multiplicative weights update algorithm turns out to have applications in linear programming as well. In fact, you can solve general linear programs using the multiplicative weights update algorithm. The idea here is a sort of pricing mechanism where dual variables associated to constraints get blown up multiplicatively when a constraint inequality is violated by some variable. And hence, using these dual variables, more feasible primal variables can be computed. And then we repeat the procedure by blowing up multiplicatively the dual prices depending on the primal variables. By repeating this procedure, new optimal solutions can actually be found and the computation time is quite good. And moreover, this can be generalized almost straightforwardly to convex programming. The multiplicative weight subject algorithm has also found to be useful to provide heuristic for some NP hard problems. In some settings, you can even prove that you have remarkable theoretical guarantees on optimality gaps. And perhaps the most exciting application of multiplicative weight subject algorithms 
is in online settings, especially online convex learning and online optimization. And you also have applications in the form of so-called exponentiated stochastic gradient descent or subgradient descent and so on. So I hope I've given you a fair glance at how much multiplicative weight subject algorithm is worth learning about. In a future video, I'll present the algorithm itself and then I'll provide the classical theoretical guarantee that is provided by multiplicative weight subject algorithms and a proof of it.